Hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go. Hey y'all. Always the hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> If you're wondering when you come down here to the Florida Keys, or even if you're a local and you're wondering what to do about the new policies on the boat ramps here in Marathon, Robin's going to give us some new insight on some new programs going on here in Marathon with the, the uh, city boat ramps down here. And uh, she's going to give you some insight, the do's, the don'ts, some new changes that have been made recently. And we're going to try to answer your questions when you come down here on vacation. Where do I launch my boat? What are the rules of the road or the water? So anyway, guys, this is Robin Still, and uh, Robin is a city councilwoman here, and uh, she's also the vice mayor of City of Marathon. And uh, today I was wandering around shooting some video at the different boat ramps. The City of Marathon has rolled out some new programs where now you have to pay to launch, correct? That is correct. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I can. There are two new things that became effective April 1st. Uh, for our boat ramps, you now have to pay to launch and to pull your boat out. Uh, if you are a Marathon resident, however, you are completely free and you don't have to do anything. Um, that's as long as your vehicle is registered in the city of Marathon or Key Colony Beach. Um, if you are not a resident, mm -hmm. what you have to do is you'll pull up to the boat ramp. You'll see a kiosk there. Mm -hmm. um, remember your tag number. You're going to need it. I have to take a picture of mine. So you'll, that's right, so you'll go to the boat ramp with your tag number and you will put your tag number in, you'll insert your credit card, you'll pay your $25, and then you'll launch your boat and you'll go about your business. Um, if you're 33rd Street, it's going to cost you $20 to park your trailer, but you can't park there overnight. Um, if you decide that you don't want to pay and that you want to launch your boat and you think you're going to launch it for free, um, you're going to be wrong. There are cameras that are there. The cameras will capture your tag and whoever the registered owner of that vehicle or trailer is, is going to receive a ticket. How much is the fine? The fine's $200. 200 bucks. Cheaper to pay the 25 to begin with. Much cheaper. <laughs> How, however, if for some reason you decide not to pay and you get the ticket, um, if you pay that ticket within 15 days, I believe that cuts that fine by 50%. Gotcha. And Robin, where, um, so I was going through in my mind today, going to the different boat ramps, thinking of when I get calls on our channel, you know, where are the boat ramps? So uh, without giving you know, necessarily ge geographical locations, because I might do a map view thing with it, but um, so we got 33rd Street. 33rd Street, the Quay, uh, AV, our harbor here off Aviation, and uh, the Quay, which is near Island Fish Company. So when you go to the, um, the, the pay kiosk, you're actually going to physically type in your tag number? Is that the way it works? You physically type in your tag number and then you will put your credit card in and you pay and you're free to go okay. and launch your boat or pull your boat out. Okay. And so be ready with your credit card. That way that kind of speeds that process up too. Sure, yeah. sure. Have your boat untied, have it ready to go, have your lines out, don't, don't prep your boat there. You guys will see when you get down here. Uh, you have to hustle. These boat ramps are tight. We don't have a lot of space here in the Florida Keys and you need to have yourself organized, ready to be in the water, coolers in the boat, whatever you're going to do, your life jackets and get that stuff done. Get your boat out, get your trailer out and get out. <laughs> get ready for the next person. Um, let's suppose I come down here with a, uh, a 43 foot center console. Where would you recommend I, which of these ramps would you recommend I go to to be able to put that boat in? I would probably go to 33rd Street. Yeah. It seems like you've got a further distance to back. I would absolutely not go to the Aviation Harbor boat ramp. You can't have three um, axle trailers there. They are prohibited. Mm -hmm. So I would probably go to 33rd Street. I don't back up very well. So 33rd Street has a longer distance. So yeah. that would be my preference. So if you've got a boat, let's say um, 30 feet or under, most of our ramps will be suitable for most that, of them will think? be fine okay and there are some advantages and disadvantages to certain ramps like the one out here by aviation you don't have anywhere to park your trailer at all once you pull it out you've got to take your truck and trailer somewhere else yeah. um with 33rd street and what is the, the quay the quay, the quay. Yeah. Yeah, that's there's unusual. some parking there's, there's parking. parking at those two but aviation has a nice little harbor to come in and out of so the current's not as strong Yes. Yeah, that's one thing that I've noticed with the um, the quay, which is the first um, first one. It's on open water. If you get a um, a crosswind there that's blowing pretty hard, 
you better be a decently, uh, you better be comfortable <laughs> crabbing your boat into the wind <laughs> and get it up on the trailer. And I have, uh, I've done it a few times myself. Yeah. Again. <laughs> about three tries and I get it on the trailer. <laughs> that is one nice thing about the boat ramp here. And this one is again called a harbor boat ramp. Harbor. I don't know why I can't remember that. I always call it behind the airport. It's because the road is harbor. <laughs> yeah. But you so, are right on the road. So if it gets very busy, you are sitting in the road blocking right. traffic. Yeah, yeah. So uh, very little parking out there, but you do. It's a good safe place to put in in terms of if you're a little bit less familiar with handling your boat. I think I would pick this one, but you better have somewhere to park, right? You're going to have to, yeah. you're going to be quick and you're going to have to have somewhere else to park because you can't park your vehicle here at all. A question I've heard a little bit in town might be a little bit controversial. <laughs> a friend of mine that I talked to just today, he does not live in the city of Marathon, but he lives just over the seven mile bridge and he comes up here to put boats in. And uh, he said, yeah, paying every time I come up here. So it is just City of Marathon residents, right? It's City of Marathon and Key Colony Beach. And Key Colony Beach. So if you live down in Cudjo, Big Pine, anywhere above. No, you have to pay. You have to pay. Uh, you said that the, the boat ramps are, are free to locals. So I just take my boat over there, launch it, park my truck, go on my merry way. Is there anything else I need to know or do? before I do that. Before you do that, if you own property here in Marathon, but you don't live here full time, um, what you have to do to be able to park free is to go onto the city's website or go to City Hall. There's an application that you would fill out. You would have to show proof that you are the property owner here. Um, and you register your vehicle with that out of state, out of the county tag, and mm -hmm. along with your trailer tag, mm -hmm. and then you will be okay. The only exemption to that is if your property is in a trust or an LLC. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, you do have to pay. Um, the court system and our city attorney um, has given us advice and the court system has ruled that trust and LLCs are not considered people, so they are handled differently. So if you own your property here in Marathon and it's in a trust or an LLC, then you are gonna have to pay. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching Gables on the Go, and uh, be sure to check with us for our next adventure down there or possibly inform informational piece. <laughs> We're going to start a segment on our channel where we try to bring you tips on vacation in the Keys that we as locals kind of take for granted, and we try to provide a little educational piece for you like this so you know what to ex expect before you get here so you can make your plans and your vacation goes very smooth down here. Yes, and yep. I think we're going to work on a vacation guide to put on our website yeah. at some point to yeah. help a lot of people that have a lot of the similar questions when they email us and say, hey, I'm coming down. Where are the best places to eat? Where do I do this? What's a good place to eat? We're know, working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> it I'm not sure you would have mentioned while. that now because they're all going to be asking. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a while. We're, we're compiling it. Yeah. We want it to be good when it comes out. All right, guys, thanks for watching Gables on the Go. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.